and I'm so excited to be on the Mom's Eye View channel today. I have three quick and easy back to school hairstyles for you. I know we all don't have time to wash and style our hair every single morning during the school year, so these three uh, hairstyles are perfect if you're trying to conceal the fact that you might have a little bit of greasy hair. You know, we don't always have time to wash it, so these styles are super cute and super easy. I'm in no way a hair expert, um, and I can still do the style, so I know that you will be loving them, and they'll be super easy for you to do quick in the morning for back to school, but I also have three other styles that I'm not going to show in this video that I did on my channel, so there will be a link to my channel down below where you can check out the second part of this video, but in the meantime, I hope you guys like these styles. Bye. Our first look is the side swept twist. Now I will mention that back to school season can be super expensive. So if you want to stay on budget, I got all of these products from Walmart. They were super inexpensive and you can pick up your back to school supplies at the same time. I like to curl my hair at the start of the week so that I have some type of texture to work with, but if you want to add texture and bounce back into your hair, you can use a beach spray like I did here. Then you're going to want to create a deep side part. Once you have your desired side part, you're going to want to lift up the top section of your side part to add a volumizing powder. I'm using the Got To Be Powerful Volumizing Styling Powder. This basically keeps your hair in place and adds a lot of extra volume if you might have greasy roots. Then I'm going to add it to the front section as well and massage it into my scalp. The next step is to take a top section of the other side of your head and twist it back. You're going to secure this with two bobby pins creating an X. Then you're going to want to finish off the look with a lightweight hairspray. I'm using one from John Frieda. And this is the complete look. It's super simple and the easiest look that I'm going to show you in this video. The next look is the pumped up pony. It's a little bit harder than the first look, but definitely still very easy. You're gonna need some dry shampoo, hair elastics, bobby pins, and beach spray. You're gonna wanna start by adding the beach spray only to the ends of your hair just to add a little extra texture. Next, you're going to want to apply a dry shampoo to your roots. I'm using one from Suave. Once you've let the dry shampoo absorb the oil on your scalp, you're going to want to pull the top section of your hair into a poof. Here, I just twisted the back section of the hair, and then as you can see here, you just push it forward and secure it with two bobby pins. We're going to be using the same X formation that we used for the first look to secure our poof into place. Once you've done that, you're going to want to pull your hair into a low ponytail. Now, if you have longer hair, you can do a high ponytail. Whatever suits your hair length, all of these styles can work on long or short hair. And this is the finished look. This next look is the twisted bun and it's one of my favorites. To create this, you're gonna need hairspray, hair elastics, and bobby pins. The first step is to gather your hair into a low ponytail. You're gonna want an elastic that matches your hair. Unfortunately, I didn't have one, but once you have your hair in a low ponytail, you're going to want to create a hole in the center of the ponytail above the nape of your neck. Then twist the bottom part of the ponytail through the hole that you've created. Then you're gonna to wanna to just pull on the ponytail to tighten your twist. The next step is to take your two fingers and wrap the remainder of your hair around them. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to secure each side with a bobby pin that matches your hair color. If you want to make sure your hair is extra secure, add one to the bottom of the twist. 
and there you have it. That is the finished look. If you want to, you can pull out pieces of your hair to frame your face, but this step is optional. Obviously, you're going to want to set the look with a lightweight hairspray. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, the second part of this video will be linked down below, and I hope you have an amazing back-to-school season. Bye, guys. To add that extra bit of cover um, so it, it holds throughout the day. So for the lips, I'm just going to use this um, a Rimmel like chubby stick. Um, it's in a really pretty um, pink shade. I just think pink's just gonna, you know, bring a little bit of life into your face and brighten up your face a little bit more.